Have you noticed that Minecraft doesn't feel difficult anymore? I love Minecraft. In fact, I've been playing it for almost half of my life. I remember first logging on to my Xbox 360 over a decade ago, and I remember the excitement trying to survive my first night, having to dig a hole in the dirt and cover myself up to survive the nighttime mobs. Finding those very first diamonds was like a checkpoint that you were like, that you were on the right track. Now you could build a diamond pickaxe and enter the nether. After narrowly avoiding a fall into lava, gas attacks, and zombie pigment, you could find some blaze spawners and start preparing for your trip to the end. Now, you would need to prepare a full set of armor, enchanted weapons, potions, bows, and more, all with the purpose of finally killing that ender dragon and beating the game. Except, it doesn't really work that way anymore. Let me explain. Over the last few years, the ways that most people play Minecraft has changed. Before, especially on console, people were only playing the basic version of Minecraft. We had little knowledge about how the game worked, or what the best strategies were. So people spent their time being creative, building bases, exploring, adventuring, and having fun. I have especially fond memories playing split-screen Minecraft with my friends. But over time, there were three main ways of playing the game that totally changed the way we view Minecraft. Number one is speedrunners. Remember that story I told you about having to gear up for that Ender Dragon fight? Having to make armor, potions, and actually prepare? Well, thanks to speedrunning, we don't have to waste our time with that. I'm sure you're aware of what speedrunners do. These people essentially make it their goal to beat the game as fast as possible. And the best speedrunners have gotten really good. So much so that people beat the game in under 10 minutes. They're beating the whole game faster than I can eat lunch. Which means that some of the long gameplay stages of Minecraft that we enjoyed have essentially become irrelevant. None of these speedrunners bother gearing up in any impressive way. The Ender Dragon fight is the best example of this. Now, you can just place a few beds and kill it. Make a bed! Boom! Make a bed! Boom! Make a bed! Boom! You don't even need to bring armor or a sword. What is supposed to be the end game boss, the most challenging battle, is now just a boring gimmick that takes a few minutes. Speedrunners are impressive, and it's very fun to watch, but after you've seen so many people beat the whole game in a few minutes, it no longer feels like you're doing something impressive when you beat the game. You compare your strategies to what these people are doing, and you naturally adapt some of them. After all, who wants to willingly play worse? So, the game ends up becoming too easy, and much less challenging. Next up is modders. Minecraft has a great modding community. It is arguably one of the greatest PC games for modding. There are thousands of mods, and you can play so many variations on the game that, that Minecraft becomes not just a game, but a platform for other games. Create Mod, RL Craft, Feed the Beast, the possibilities are endless. Most people have tried tons of different mod packs. These mods are fun and a great way to spruce things up. But what many of these mods have in common is they're actually more difficult than the base game, which means that when you go back to the unmodded version, the game feels even more easy. For most of these people, the point really isn't to beat the game anyways. Create Mod is like Factorio, where you spend your time automating the collection of resources. So there really isn't any attention being paid to the storyline of Minecraft and beating the game. We also need to consider multiplayer. Multiplayer on Minecraft is top notch. Everyone has played server like Hypixel or more recently MCC Island. Game mods like Skyblock or Bedwards add a whole new layer of challenge. They allow people to master the mechanics behind Minecraft and become extremely adept at doing the challenges quickly. Servers related to SMP and factions also had players setting up bases and gearing up as fast as they can and in competition with other players. All three of these groups, modders, speedrunners, and multiplayers provide more challenging versions of Minecraft. And a good chunk of Minecraft players have tried these versions. The consequence? is that the normal, survival version of Minecraft feels very easy in comparison. There just isn't that much to do after you compare it to these three other things. This wouldn't be a problem, if not for the fact that Minecraft has changed very little. Many players have complained that Minecraft has become stale. The updates take forever, and they don't even change that much when they do release. It's been over 10 years since Minecraft has gotten a new dimension, after the end and the nether were introduced. People have gotten very used to these same dimensions they have played over and over again. This makes it predictable and not as exciting. A new dimension from Mojang would be a great idea, and it would encourage a lot of people to play more Minecraft. Let's talk about bosses. New bosses are rarely added, and existing mobs are not made more challenging. As we talked about earlier, the Ender Dragon is a joke. The main way to fight it isn't to have any real battle, but to just place beds. The Wither is something that almost no one even bothers doing. The fight is pretty cool. It was quite an exciting boss when it was first released. However, it is a little tedious to set up and annoying because it breaks everything. We were lucky to see the release of the Warden recently, which added a bit of new content, and it can be pretty challenging but more bosses would really add some variety. Something that would actually require significant preparation and is not able to be cheated with some cheap trick. 
When discussing gameplay, we can't forget to mention mining. Mining is a big part of Minecraft and is also very stale. One large problem is that there is very little to do with diamonds. They don't feel like some big achievement anymore, especially after you get an enchantment table. Finding diamonds just becomes trivial. And with the Fortune 3 pickaxe, you end up with a bunch of them. So much so that they just fill up space in your chest. Mojang added netherite ore, which is pretty cool. But now that one netherite ingot can turn a diamond piece into a netherite one, you end up with way more diamonds because you aren't using them to repair. You're using netherite instead. Now, diamonds are at a weird halfway spot where they are needed for things like enchantment tables. But other than that, you just stop using them throughout the game. And at least with iron, which has a similar problem. You can use that for minecarts or other things. The other ores are just not used that much. Emeralds have little use. Lapis is only used when enchanting. And who really wants to mine coal? I still have no idea what to do with any of the copper either. Minecraft could use some new ores with some special use that makes them actually valuable and rare. Or maybe adding some new uses to the ores that we do have so that there's a reason to find them. One thing we need to consider is time. And this may be a large part of why Minecraft doesn't feel as hard. It has been out for over 10 years since the release of Minecraft. Java Edition released all the way back in 2009. That is a long time. So of course people would become better at the game. It's somewhat unavoidable. But as we discussed, there are a number of changes that Minecraft could make so that the game feels fresh. Let me know what changes you'd like to see. And be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.